what else can we talk about? Peeps up and down the city, don't try to come for me. How do y'all feel about TikTokers making music? I'm here for it. TikTok is the new thing. Anybody who wants to make music, I say make music. I mean, you had, who was it, Vin Diesel, who came out with some music, but was it over the summer? They were bops. Nobody was expecting it. It's just for fun. Sometimes music can just be fun. You get a lot of people who are like, I'm so, I'm so sick, sick of these YouTubers. YouTubers. I'm so sick of these TikTokers making music. It's business. You know, if you're somebody who's really popping off, why wouldn't you make music to make, to even if it is just a cash grab, why not? It's it, Even if it is just for fun, if they come out with just that one single, I mean, why not? I mean, that song might speak to somebody, but a lot of people feel like well, there's so many talented artists and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? It's more than just knowing how to sing or knowing how to rap. You gotta have that it factor. There's many artists out here who don't know how to sing Janet Jackson, Britney Spears. I'm just saying, I don't know, don't look, don't, don't come for me. Don't come for me. I said what I said. What I said. Jan, we all know Janet don't know how to sing, but we love Janet. Why? Because she has it. She's Janet. Britney Spears can't sing, but we, we love her. We love her. So, you know, don't come for me. I'm the biggest Britney fan you will ever meet. There is no bigger Britney fan than me. She has it. But even me being the biggest Britney fan, she, you no, know, she, she can't, Christina Aguilera, I mean, I'm saying Christina because that's like her, you know, that, that same era, Christina Aguilera obviously is the more talented singer, Now I love Christina, I'm a huge fan, but it's all about the it factor, it's not about talent, and I'm not saying that Christina, uh, Christina is Christina, you know what I'm saying, but it's the, you know, so anyways, I brought up this, because Addison Rae, TikToker, just did a movie. She got a movie deal. People were mad because the TikToker got a movie deal. And I'm just kind of like, what was she supposed to do? Turn it down? If somebody comes to you and is like, hey, I have this role for you, you're supposed to be like, no, I want to give it to someone who's been training in acting forever. Like, why? She got offered the movie deal. Of course, she's going to take it. But anyway, so. Addison Rae just came out with a song. And we were like, this is trash, it's pure autotune. <sighs> Guys, she's for the young people. She came out with a fun, of course, she's popping right now. It only makes sense. Even if it's just about business, of course she's gonna come out with music. If she didn't, that would be a total fail on her management team. Come out with the music, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you gotta realize maybe you just aged out. Dixie D'Amelio, another, you know, she sister of big TikToker Charlie D'Amelio, came out with some music. I think that it's great. I think that it's all in good fun. Sometimes music just doesn't need to be serious. I say, honey, get the get the coin, get the coin wherever you can. And people just need to be okay with that. Like everything doesn't need to be so. What well, there's so many other top talented artists. So what? If you can get people are like TikTokers aren't talented. Says who? But that makes it even more special. Nobody is forcing these people to follow them. If you could get in front of a camera and make TikTok videos and people just love you because you're you, and all you have to do is go like you do it too. And if you got millions of followers off of it and someone was like, I want you to be in this movie. I want you to make this song. You're going to make the song too. Like, like, I don't understand. Like, people get so upset over the success over these YouTubers and these TikTokers. And I'm just like, baby, why are you mad that people are in their bed? Figure out how you can get in your bed. I think this shit is cute. I, th I think it's cute. That's just me. That's just my opinion. Addison Ray, y'all go listen to the song. And y'all tell me which, what y'all what y'all think about the song. I mean, everything's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. Duh. No, I mean, look, I, I think that is amazing what these TikTokers are able to do. If it was that easy, everybody would do it. And that's another thing that confuses me. People are like, they have no talent. I don't get it. And I'm like, well, shit, bitch, you get out there and do it. Since you think it's so easy. And let me tell you something, as a person who has made some TikTok, now, I'm, look, I'm 30, I'm... <laughs> You know, I'm a little bit aged out, but I try to, you know, I do my little TikToks every now and then. And look, and TikTok is for everybody. Like, people who are like 
Well, it's just a bunch of teenagers. No, it's not, because I've seen, <laughs> I've seen some things on TikTok. There's very, there's a lot of different versions of the, of the TikTok. There is a TikTok for everybody. There is Christian TikTok. There is dance TikTok. There is hip hop. El the elderly. There is black TikTok. I mean, it's, it's so much of conspiracy theories. Like, whatever you're into, if you're into makeup, if you're into magic, if you're into whatever you're into, I guarantee you, I guarantee you there is a version of TikTok in the algorithm. I've looked at TikTok on other people's phones and tablets and stuff and the things that pop up on other people's TikToks is very different from the things that pop up on my TikTok. But anyways, all that to say, why are we getting mad at these TikTokers for blowing up? Most famous TikTokers, just like anybody else, were just making videos. And they just so happen to be the ones that everybody was just drawn to and that's what it comes back to, that it factor. <laughs> right? And since we're doing makeup, let's talk about Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star just dropped some mascara. And now here comes this girl saying that Jeffree Star stole the idea from her. Did he steal this girl's idea for his new mascara? I'll let y'all look it up and compare and contrast. I don't know. It's the same thing with music and, and with fashion. It's kind of like, are you inspired or did you copy? Where's the line? I, I don't know. Look, I saw the two products. I saw Jeffrey's product and I saw this girl's product who claims that, that he copied her mascara. I, look, it's a similar kind of theme. Did he steal it? I, I, don't, I don't know. <sighs> Jeffrey really ain't got no reason to be stealing nobody's idea like that. But who's to say he did? I'm not saying that he didn't. I'm just saying... Yeah, anyways, I think we about done with this makeup look. I, I, I don't know how much more y'all want me to add, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, look, sweet, this, I didn't say this was going to be a good a makeup tutorial. Anyways, this is this makeup look all complete. Let me know what you think about all, all, all of everything that we talked about down below. Let me know. Let, for real, let me know what you think. If, I, if I'm dead wrong, tell me I'm dead wrong. I, I want to hear their opinions. I want, you know, be respectful in the comment section down below. But let's have a little conversation. I mean, like, why not? And we should do this more often. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for coming and sitting with me and, and joining me and doing my makeup. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I, I, I ran my mouth enough. Oh, and, and just to circle it all back around, I do recommend this, even though I haven't worn it throughout the day. You know, sometimes makeup oxidizes or it does weird stuff the longer you wear it. But just for the little bit of time that I've worn it, I do recommend. So if you want to get this, get your color. I, obviously, I didn't get my right color, but the formula itself, it seems like it'll do pretty good. This is a, a, a natural, like there's matte, natural, and radiant. So this is right in the middle. That's it. Go listen to Addison Ray. Check out all the drama. Woo! And get back with me. Follow me on social media, whatever. Bye!